Hello everyone and welcome to Absolute Collection 4. My name is Dom and I'm a music producer based here in London and today I'm going to show you how you can produce a dark, immersive, 80s inspired horror soundtrack using exclusively the instruments that you can find in Absolute Collection 4. I'm going to start with a blank canvas and I'm going to play every instrument from scratch and in the end we're going to have something that sounds like this. So let's dive into these amazing sounds and start building our track. So here we are in Cubase 10 and as you can see I have a completely empty project right here. But what I've done is I've loaded quite a few sounds that I feel will work great for this type of vibe that I'm going for. And I'm going for a very dark, cinematic, you know, kind of grimy, 80s vibe, synthwave kind of sounds. Everything comes from the Absolute Collection 4. So I have quite a few different instruments loaded. For example, I have Hylian Sonic 3, I have Groove Agent 5, I have Retrolog, all those different instruments. So let's dive in. So what I've done is I've also added some markers right here as a guideline to kind of figure out what my sections are gonna be. So let's start with the drums. And in this case, I'm going to use a drum kit from Groove Agent 5. Here's Groove Agent 5. Now the interface is completely resizable, which is very, very cool because I'll show you how I'm gonna use Groove Agent 5 today. So let's listen to this preset. This is a drum kit that sounds very 80s. It has this kind of Lindrum kind of quality. And because I want this kind of drum machine sound, instead of playing these drums live, I usually play my drums live, I'm going to use the pattern editor inside Groove Agent 5. And there are already some patterns pre-programmed, but in this case, I'm going to create my own pattern. And here are my own patterns. This is a very, very simple pattern, but it has this kind of uh, very lean drum mechanical kind of vibe. So let me play this for you. Very, very simple, but that's what I'm looking for because we're going to have the complexity with all the other instruments. And I have another... pattern right here that also has this hi-hat. And you know, it's very easy to create patterns in Groove Agent 5, especially now that we have the resizable interface. It's very clean and very easy to see what you're doing. What I've done in this case is if I go to my instruments and go to every single hit, what I've done to the hi-hat, so let me play the hi-hat for you. What I've done is I've changed the playback quality from standard to turntable. And the reason why is because, let me compare, this is standard and this is turntable. It gives me this kind of very kind of vintage uh, vibe. It takes a little bit of the harshness in the top end and I like this kind of more round sound, more dark tone and it gives a little bit of, you know, grit. So. These are my patterns and what I'm going to do is I'm going to straight off drag them and drop them into the project. So let's go to patterns and I'm going to drop this into our track right here. And let's say that for this section I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to keep this pattern up to this point and when we have the second theme that I'm planning to create we're going to have the pattern with the hi-hat. So I'm going to extend this until the end and there we go. Now we have our drum sorted. So now if I go and play, I have those drums ready to go to give me a little bit of groove to start producing. Now the next drum kit I'm going to use to complement those sounds comes from Hallian Sonic 3 and it's an instrument called B-Box. This is a very, very cool drum instrument. You can create patterns very, very easily and it emulates those classic drum machines. Let me show you. So it has a very nice round sound and of course you can customize the drum kits. It's very, very easy to use. So what I've done right here is I've created a pattern that's kind of similar to the other pattern from Groove Agent 5, but they complement each other very, very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the same thing and just drag and drop this pattern right here. And I'm going to extend this for the entire length. So let's listen to them playing at the same time.
perfect. Now that we have our drums in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding some signature sounds. And when I'm saying signature sounds, it sounds that are very special, very specific to this track, and they have quite a bit of character. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very dark, gritty kick drum. And in order to do this, I'm using Retrolog. Two. And Retrolog 2 is a virtual analog synthesizer and you can create all those really beautiful fat analog sounds on this. So what I've done is I've created a kick drum from scratch. This is a custom preset, so it sounds like this. And this is actually a very simple patch. I've used a sawtooth wave, a sine wave to get a little bit of bottom end, a sub to get an nice, you know, kind of low end right there. And I've turned the resonance all the way up and closed the filter, but I've added velocity sensitivity to the filter. So that means that depending on how loud I play on the keyboard, I'm going to get a more open sound on the filter. And I've basically programmed this pattern right here in the arpeggiator section and you can see that when the velocity is loud, then I get a more open sound and then I get this kind of muffled, almost like a delay kind of sound, like a ghost note. So this gives me a very nice, gritty, kind of ominous kind of tone. So let's say I want to start this pattern or bar 11 before the other drums come in. So let's record this. You know, it almost feels like a heartbeat. So let's extend this a few times. And now I'm going to add my second signature sound, which is the first theme of this track. And in this case, I'm using Retrolog again. And this is a bass sound. It's a dark bass sound. And again, this is a custom sound that I've created in Retrolog. And this is just to show you how powerful this synthesizer is. So let me show you how it sounds. Again, I'm using two oscillators. I'm also using a sub. I'm using uh, this nice filters. I'm using the low pass 12 dB per octave filter. And I also have an arpeggiator right there. Now, what I've done to this sound is I've programmed Retrolog so that when I use my mod wheel, what happens is it opens the cutoff frequency of the filter, but also it adds some reverb to this sound. So I can basically create buildups just using this bass sound. Now, the way you can do this, I'm gonna show you very quickly, is you go to your mix parameter of your reverb and you right click and then you go to mod wheel and enable mod wheel. And this way you can start from completely dry and go to a lush reverb. Now, of course, both these parameters are controlled at once. Now, of course, what I gain from this is that I get a very dynamic sound. I can start from something that's very dark and ominous and open the filter and create buildups. And that's what I'm gonna use this sound for. So now let's record this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to stay in the E minor chord, and then at some point I'm going to switch to a more unexpected chord progression so that we get a little bit of excitement. Let's do it. Theme. Build up.
right, now all I need to do is just quantize the notes that's so that they're exactly on time. Hit Q in Cubase and it's done. So now I'm going to introduce the second theme for this piece and I'm going to introduce it on bar 35 where I had the changes on the chords on the bass line. And I want this to be really big, really majestic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer sounds together to get a big sound and I'm going to show you how I do this. So the first sound I'm going to use comes from Hylian Sonic 3 and I'm using the voltage synthesizer right here. This is a very beautiful analog style synthesizer. It can create those really creamy pads. And that's my sound number one. Let's move on to sound number two. And this sound comes from Pat Shop Pro. It's called Bobby's Dream. And it sounds like this. And you know, I'm trying to find sounds that complement each other. This gives me like this airy layer that I need for this sound. Let's move on to the third sound. That's Pat Shop Pro again, a sound called Dark Pad. This gives me a little bit of the low mids and a little bit of the attack. Now, the fourth sound, it's again from Pacho Pro and it's called Key Player. Very, very attacky sound again. And the fourth sound comes from Hypnotic Dance, which is a very, very cool library in Halion Sonic 3. And this sounds like this. So it gives me a little bit of, you know, nice, more of a patty sound, less attack. But this will make the sound sound bigger in the end. And now for the low registers, I'm going to also use another sound which I created on Retrolog. And it's this one. It's a custom sound again, so this sounds like this. So this I'm going to use at the beginning for the stabs. So now I'm going to show you how this theme is going to sound like. And then we're going to move to a different key to build up the tension and make this even more majestic. So let's go and record. So there we go, now we have our theme in place. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my Retrolog stab as well and start adding those nice big stabs at the beginning. So I'm going to use all the sounds that I've used previously, but I'm going to add this nice Retrolog stab as well. Now make it a little bit dark, make it a little bit, you know, kind of scary, kind of moody. Let's do it.
Right, now that I have a basic structure and I have all my themes in place, it's time to start adding atmosphere to the track. And what I want is I want to create a nice soundscape at the very beginning of the piece. And I don't want this to necessarily have any rhythm. I want this to be very sparse. I want this to be very ambient. I want this to give you the chills, basically. So in order to do that, I have prepared some sounds. I have this sound that comes from Skylab. It's called Alone in the Dark, and it sounds like this. And this is going to be my starting sound. I'm going to start the song with this sound. This is going to introduce the mood for this piece. So let me go on bar number one and record this sound basically. And you can see this sound goes on forever. It's really evolving. Skylab excels in these amazing sounds, in this kind of soundscape sounds. Let's go to sound number two. This is a sound that comes from Skylab again, and it sounds like this. So this also gives me a great soundscape. Let's record this sound now. By using the mod wheel, I can create all those different fluctuations in the sound. Now, let's move on to the next sound. This is called Cascades, and it comes again from Skylab. I'm building quite a few different sounds to keep the listener's attention at the very beginning so that we create an, a, you know, a musical world, basically. Now, while I'm building this beautiful atmosphere, this really mysterious tone, I'm going to break the silence with some really hard-hitting, really gritty drums. Check this out. And these drums come from the Dark Planet library, which you can find in Absolute Collection 4. It's really nice. It's very cinematic, very dark. So let's record some drums right there. And that's it. You know, I just need few elements from every instrument to create a very rich and very interesting sound. Let's move on to the next sound in line, which is the arc light from Skylab. And I think... And I think this is a great sound to put in between those two drum loops. Let's do this. Now we have all this darkness right here. Let's add some delicate notes with a preset from Patch Up Pro called Beautiful Thing. And this sounds like this. And you can see that the granular synthesis really shines on this instrument. The great thing is you can also add your own samples and create your own soundscapes in Patch Up Pro. It's a very, very powerful synthesizer.
and that's enough. I only want a little bit of taste from every instrument. I don't want to overdo it at this stage. The next sound I want to introduce comes from Skylab and it sounds like this. Very beautiful pad. Let's introduce it right here. Now I have a little bit of time right there and I want to fill it with another sound and this sound is called Cinematic Vox and it comes from Patch Up Pro. So let's add this sound straight after the bright ambient. Now what I want to do is I want to introduce a very eerie sound, a sound that's very otherworldly and in this case I'm using a Skylab sound and it sounds like this. I mean this sounds almost like a squeaky door when you use the mod wheel. Very, very interesting sound. I mean, this is the kind of sounds that you can get out of these powerful synthesizers. So let me try and introduce this when the groove agent drums come in. So up to this point, we have our cinematic, very atmospheric intro. We have our first theme, our first section, and then the second theme that is the main theme of the piece. So what I want to do right now is I want to add a few accents to those different sections. And in order to do this, I'm going to use some sounds that I've created on Retrolog. And one sound is this one. And this is a very simple sound. This is basically just a white noise generator, but I'm using the beautiful filters on Retrolog to create this very 80s inspired kind of crash slash clap. And it sounds like this, as you can see. Here's the filter. So I can play with it and create a different sound every time. And I also added a little bit of delay and some reverb to get a little bit of space and depth. So let's start adding some of these sounds in a few sections. So I think we need one right here on bar 19 where the big synths come in. So let's do this. See how nicely this blends with the synths. It, it adds a little bit of attack to this synth symphony right there. So let me add a few more of these accents. I think I want one more right here when we have this different chord and maybe right here where the second theme starts. Now I have another sound prepared on Retrolog which is a noise sweep and it sounds like this. And in this case, I'm taking advantage of this really, really kind of gritty resonance on the Retrolog filters, which gives me this very piercing sound. So what I can use this sound for is to create the build-ups before every section. So for example, maybe I can try and record one right here. And the great thing with this sound is that when I release the key, the filter release changes, so I can synchronize it exactly where the first note of my theme hits. Now I'm going to show you something very cool. I think that when the second theme comes in with the big synths, I think we need some kind of support in the low end, some kind of drone and very dark sound. 
So here's what I've done. I've recorded a note, a single note with one of my analog synths right here. And it sounds like this. And what I've done is I've used Hylian 6, which is a monster of a plugin. It's a synthesizer, it's a sampler, it has various synth modules in there, granular synthesis, wavetable synthesis. In this case, I'm using the wavetable synthesis in Hylian 6. And what I've done is I've dropped this sample and you can see the 3D representation of this wavetable right here. So here's how it sounds after I imported it into Hylian 6 and created a sound using the wavetable synthesis. So, you know, it's, it puts a smile on your face. It's evolving, it's very interesting. It's no longer this boring single, you know, note. It's a very deep, very dark sound. And of course I can use all these controls here to change the position of the um, wavetable. and create all those interesting effects. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to use it as my drone for when the second theme comes in. So let's record these root notes. Now let's go ahead and add some more anticipation sounds. I'm going to use a sound from Dark Planet and this is called Mounting Pressure and here's what it does. So the mod wheel gives it this kind of really intense sound and you know it brings in some bit reduction, it does quite a few things but I think I can use this to add some tension in some places. For example, I want to really accent this B flat chord that comes out of nowhere on bar 27. So let's try and add this sound right there. And maybe I want to add a few more notes like this towards the end so I can close the track like this. There is one little element that's still missing from this track and that's an old school classic arpeggiator sound. And I have one right here, I've prepared this sound right there, which is custom sound, I call it Dom 80's Dark Pluck and it sounds like this. And what I've done in this case, I've assigned the mod wheel to control the shape of the oscillator so I can get all those different colors. So from dark to brighter, a little bit of mid-range. So I can make it very rich or I can make it very dark. And of course, the filter is velocity enabled so I can play very softly or I can play loud and open the filter even more. So let's try and record a nice arpeggiator. And this time, instead of programming the arpeggiator, I'm going to play it so I can create all those different variations.
Now for the final touch, what I want to do when we have this key change, this unexpected key change in the theme, I want to add a little bit of epicness to it. You know, I want to make it sound more open, more bright. So in this case, I'm going to add a few more sounds and I'm going to use the big epic octave pad from Dark Planet and the big sweep from Skylab and Halion Sonic. So let me show you how these sound like. This is the big epic pad. Nice, I like this vibrato right there. And this is the spicy sweep from Skylab. So let's go to the theme and when the key changes, I'm going to add these beautiful sounds. As you can see, huge palette of sounds in Absolute Collection 4. You have all those great tools, virtual analog synths for analog style sounds, granular synths, wavetable synthesizers, drum machines, samplers, everything is right in there. So you can basically start creating. Now, the presets are really inspiring. So if you want to start creating music, everything is at your fingertips. But then if you want to do your own sound design and create your own sounds, then you have so much freedom and you can basically create whatever you have in mind. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you found it useful and entertaining. Don't forget to write in the comments down below what you'd like to see next on our VST Instruments and Effects channel. Have fun with Absolute Collection 4 and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.